Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to be taking a look at Blaine. So Blaine was originally introduced as part of the Generation Girl line. Um, I don't have that doll with me today purely because I think he looks a bit scary. As you probably know, uh, Barbie and Ken broke up in the early 2000s. A very odd decision on Mattel's part in my opinion. Um, and Blaine became her new um, romantic interest. I have three now because I could not decide which one I wanted. So this one because I had him as a kid, this one because he is a little less beachy looking, a bit more everyday, or this one because he just has that more typical beach look and all the accessories as well. So I guess we should just probably jump right into it. Um, I'll start with the earliest one. So that is this one here. He is copyrighted 2004 and he is made in Indonesia. Okay, so I'll just give you a look at the box. So it has this kind of straw-like top to the box. The early noughties Barbie logo with the flower. And then on the back here we have some background information. And some photographs. On this little flap here on the other side we have some photographs, some like Polaroid images. So the top roof thing comes open with some tabs. And oh, pretty easy. So there he is. That's very easy. So there's some sticky tape, um, some twist ties, but overall it does not look that bad. His face is a bit discoloured, but I think that's a bit common for early noughties dolls. His hair is quite gelled, rock hard, and it is actually centre parted even though it does all look pushed back. Okay, so he did come with this Cali Girl zine magazine. Um, I don't think we'll go through the whole thing, but you can colour in the bathing suits. Um, there's a little maze, different ways you can wear bandanas, um, a little quiz, and then there's some little profiles on the dolls themselves, and a poster, fold-out poster in the middle. Okay, so we have a spot the difference, and I think it's quite funny because in this picture we have Ken there, and but the difference, Ken is no longer there. Here we are, Blaine, the most amazingly hot new guy in town, the brother of Summer. He has lots of charisma and attitude. So his name is Blaine. He was born on May the 3rd. He's a Taurus. His birthplace is Sydney, Australia. That's where I'm from. His favorite food is Mexican. Mine is too. Hobbies, extreme sports, surfing, snowboarding, skydiving. Pet, no time for pets, dude. And favorite color is black. And then we have charm bracelets and the Kelly Girl Barbie that I had growing up. Okay, and that is it for the magazine. Okay, and going through his accessories, he came with a pair of flippers. Now, although it says red surfing gear, he came with a boogie board. I wouldn't really call that surfing, but anyway. And it has at the end an elastic loop that you can put around his ankle. This bit, he came with a bottle of sunblock a bottle of water, 
and two cardboard punch outs of energy bars. He also came with a pair of ice blue sunglasses with silver trim and a spare outfit. So we have a, um, a rash top, I think it's called. I've forgotten what it's called actually. I think it's like a rash or a rash top to prevent chafing. Um, uh, a pair of board shorts with a tie at the front. They close in the back with Velcro. So does the top. And a beanie. So Blaine has a very unusual sculpt. His nostrils are quite deep. He has blue eyes, mauve lips, um, sun streaked hair, and a tanned complexion. Moving down, he does have a beachy necklace with like what looks like a wooden bead. He has this overshirt that looks opaque, but it's actually see-through and quite stretchy. It has some ribbon detailing down the side here and a collar. He has a two-toned raglan sleeved t-shirt with a print of a beach hut and some palm trees. I really love this this um, little illustration there. I think it's really cute. And that closes in the back with Velcro as well. And it is tagged Genuine Barbie. Um, I'll just show you this before I take off his shirt. He does have a wrist tag and I do believe um, quite a few of these dolls came with wrist tags. He has some cargo shorts. So we have some slanted pockets at the side, some belt loops, um, three pockets. So one there, one here, they're both just for show. And then one, which is actually a functioning pocket just here. And this chain, and it actually has a little clasp at the um, belt loop there so that you can detach it. Okay, that closes in the back with Velcro as well. And then we have his shoes. So they're quite large and chunky. I think that was common for most of the dolls at this time. And he uses the regular chem body that was used pretty much from the, um, the mod era right up until now, really. Um, he's copyrighted 1968 Mattel Inc. made in Indonesia and his head is copyrighted 2001. Yeah, so I think it's really interesting that they use this body for so long. So he has the basic points of articulation. His head moves from side to side. His arms move up and down, as do his legs, and his legs bend and click. And there he is wearing his extra outfit. Okay, moving on to the next one. Copyrighted in 2004, also made in Indonesia. This one does have the, I should actually point out that both of these have the Australian and the UK Mattel um, addresses on them. So I'm not sure if these are different to the US versions, but I don't know. This one I had as a kid, as I said earlier. Um, this doll is centered, so there are three holes at the side here where you can smell him. So he's centered like a coconut tanning lotion sort of scent. Um, on the box, we have again more pictures 
focusing on like having fun with friends. There's a picture of him on the side there. And it says door centered. It's a pretty basic standard box. Um, opens up the top and bottom. There we are. Now I find it odd that this doll came with a stand when it was pretty much the basic one that you got at the grocery store. Um, and this big fancy one did not come with a stand at all. Um, but anyway. Um, he does come with a bottle of sunblock, just like the other one, except this time it says Cali Girl SPF 45. Um, so basically two twist ties and some sticky tape. His eyes are green and they're a bit more um, thin. He has the mauve lips, so that is the same. His hair is still two-toned, sun-streaked, except it is a bit longer and it is parted at the side. He is wearing a, um, one of those rash shirt things. I'm not sure what they're called, I need to look that up. And he has some board shorts. Now I remember the, this colour scheme and the like ombre effect and the palm trees on board shorts when I was younger, so that is very accurate to the the trends at the time. So yeah, pretty much similar doll, um, same articulation, same body, copyrighted 1968 and made in Indonesia. And this guy came with his stand, which is a leg grip stand and a cardboard cutout of a surfboard. He also came with sunglasses, but this time they're a bit smaller, a different shape, and they are orange. So he's not very stable on the stand. It doesn't really clip onto his legs. It kind of just holds them in place a little bit. Um, so you do need to balance him. Moving on, we have this one. So this one, I believe, is one of the last lanes to be released. Copyright 2005, made in Indonesia. Now, in my opinion, 2005 is when the quality started dropping. The, the materials they were using were a lot cheaper. The dolls had more of a plasticky smell. Uh, the box says, fun, friends, surf and sand. It's the ultimate party at the beach for Barbie and friends. And this is when they stopped using the flower on the Barbie logo. There's just some pictures of the dolls around. It's more like a collage. Barbie was getting back into the pink and the glitter and the sparkles. And there we are. This guy does not come with a lot, just a bottle of what this time looks like suntan lotion rather than sunblock. And his sunglasses are the same as the first Blaine's sunglasses, but they're a darker blue and they do not have the silver edging on them. So this Blaine has darker eyebrows, pinker lips, and wider eyes and as I mentioned before a more um, pale complexion. He does not have streaked hair it is just all brown the whole way around no blonde streaks. It is more of a curly style especially at the sides. His top is just a basic um, jersey top in the style of a raglan t-shirt with a high collar and it has this sun print on it. It closes in the back with velcro. Now the board shorts are really interesting. They are really high waisted and they have this kind of corset um, detailing. One side has a 
rainbow floral print. The other one is plain orange with a pocket and that's an actual functioning pocket as well. So you can put stuff in there. It closes in the back with Velcro. So you don't need to undo the, um, the leasing at the front. Again, marked 1968 Indonesia. And the same points of articulation as the other two dolls. Now the head smells like clone plastic and the body actually smells very much like my Miko, Tropical Miko smell like, although not as strong. So the plastic is cheaper. Okay, so that is all three Blaine dolls together. So they are quite different, although they are clearly the same character. So please let me know in the comment section below what you think of Blaine and what you think of the whole breakup between Barbie and Ken. Um, I like Blaine. Um, I don't feel like it was necessary for Barbie and Ken to break up though in order for him to be part of the whole line, but um, it is what it is, I guess. Um, apart from the written material, um, you know, that isn't very accurately depicting the Australian background of Blaine. I think um, the doll itself is quite accurate. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this review and I'll see you all next time.